Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for December 4th through December 10th. This is intended to be a love reading, but we will see what comes up. Um, it may not resonate with you. I ask that you take what does and leave the rest. This is not a private reading. It's a general reading for a huge audience, okay? I've pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for just a moment. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. Happy birthday. So this is the sign of Sagittarius. Ooh, looks, wow. Holy moly, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so the basis of the reading is the Three of Wands reversed. I think that somebody is kind of not really focusing on the future. Okay, so somebody really has to really go within and really focus on the future. Let go of the past. Don't stay stuck. Realize that... There's more. There is something more. So if any of you are feeling stuck or feeling like you can't move forward, you need to lose that train of thought, okay? Realize that there is something more for you in the future. There is a love. If you guys are feeling unloved, okay, remember, divine timing plays a part in your life. It really, really does. We have the Two of Cups reversed right next to that. So some of you are feeling unloved and you're, you're sick of it. You're sick of waiting. But you need to realize divine timing is a factor, okay? You can't rush the good stuff. You can't. It's just the way it is. Things take time, all right? I feel like right now there's, there's like some, you know, many of you have your guard up. You're feeling like you're, you're on, on, on eggshells. You know, you're walking on eggshells. Um, there's maybe some negativity in your life, some depression, some drama, some, some anxiety. You may be feeling um, quite depressed because you're living in the past. Things aren't progressing as, as quickly as you hoped. Um, there's some insecurity, there's some instability, and for many of you, you're sick of it, you want stability. You're looking for a nice, stable, and secure relationship, and, you know, it's just not here yet for many of you. It's not here, and so you may have lost some of your focus, and I'm here to tell you that you need to bring it back. Keep focusing on the future, you know, in the now, not the past, okay? Focus on the now and the future. Really, it's time for you to take action. It's time, right now is a good period for you to work on yourself, okay? Really work on yourself during this time. The wheel is going to spin in your favor. It, it's just not happening right yet. It is going to happen. Trust me, it is. The fact of the matter is, is you have to work on yourself right now. It's clear with this Queen of Wands and this Strength card. It's time for you to master your emotions, okay? It's time to, for you to really, really, really be proud of who you are. And, you know, you might have to do something to make yourself be proud, whether it's self positive self-talk or... Um, removing yourself from situations that don't serve you, from negativity, you walk away from that. I feel like you really need a boost, okay? You need to boost yourself up. If you're looking for somebody else to do it for you, that's a red flag, okay? You need to do it yourself. It's time for you to bring your vibration up. And that starts with thinking positive, being positive, making yourself feel attractive, um, projecting uh, attractiveness out to the world, being strong, being confident, being courageous, you know, being proud of who you are. Show the world how proud you are of who you are, okay? And a new door will open. But that this is a new door opening. But a new door won't open until you have freed yourself from negativity and negative thoughts. 
negative people. Okay, you have to free yourself from wherever you're at right now. The state of mind. This is the Eight of Swords. That's just that's a state of mind. Many of you feel like you can't move on, or you feel like you've done something wrong, or you feel like you're a victim, or there's just a lot of negative thoughts going on in your head, and the negative thoughts bring your vibration down, and if you're looking for love, you know, if you're single and you're looking for love, even if you're with a partner and it's not thriving, it's because of negative thoughts with these two cards, the Eight of Swords right next to the Nine of Swords. Negative thoughts are impacting your love life. They are, okay? Now, I have to tell you that you need to let go of those thoughts, okay? Because those are false. They are false thoughts. This is false, okay? That's the devil card. He only brings in falseness. Nothing is true with the devil, okay? And all it is 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 stalling the process for you. It's stalling your new life. It's stalling your next chapter. Your negativity in your head is stalling the wheel from for, from spinning for you. That's all it is. And as long, until you bring your vibration up, this two of cups is going to remain in the reversed position. If you're looking for that ultimate love between the person you're with or with someone new, you need to bring your vibration up. And that's all that I can say. If you hate on people, if you say mean things to people, if you pick on people, if you do things to make people hurt, you're bringing your vibration down. If you're doing that to yourself, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm not good looking enough, you're bringing your vibration down, okay? You have to get rid of those thoughts, of those words. And when you do, that's when this wheel will spin around and the, everything will come to you. Good luck, good fortune will come your way. But right now, you have to focus on yourself and being positive and mastering your emotions, okay? And letting go of the past. If there's a past relationship that didn't work out, so be it. It didn't work out. There, for, it didn't work out for a reason. There is a purpose for everything, okay? There's a reason for it that it didn't work out because you have a new door. You have a new path. You have a new partner. Or you have, it, you have to learn something if you're coupled before you can reach that ultimate love between you and the person you're with. And what you need to learn is to be proud of who you are, okay? I'm going to start shuffling this deck. I just have to tell you that the time is now to change your thoughts. Absolutely, you have to change your thoughts. You have to release negative and replace it with positive. That's how you raise your vibration. Until you raise your vibration, you will not get the love that you desire. And that's all there is to it. I see that you need to raise your vibration. For some of you, there could be some addictions at play that are bringing you down. Alcohol, drugs, something like that. Maybe it's overeating, but there's definitely some addictions here for somebody who is watching this. I'm not sure who it is. But somebody has some addictions that is halting their love life. It's not making it better. And you maybe you need to remove those addictions or you need to get help for them. I'm not sure. But some, something is because, you know, when you fake it, you know, when you fake things and you mask things and you hide the truth with addictions, that, that is very negative because you're, you know, it's still down there. The truth is still there. You can only hide it temporarily. The mastering your emotions is a big part of this reading and being proud of who you are despite whatever's happened in the past. Chalk it up to a lesson learned and I'm holding my head up high and I'm perfect in every way. I'm good. I'm beautiful. I'm worthy. Yeah, the future's in your hands. The future is in your hands. Nobody's going to do it for you. Okay? It's in your hands. As soon as you do what you need to do, things will change. Until you do, there's lack of love. There's lack of love coming into your life. You have to make progress. You have to do it. Nobody's going to do it for you. Okay? We, I see that many of you need to bring your attractiveness back. And it's not like you're not attractive. You are. But you've let yourself go. Somebody's watching this has let themselves go because they feel like they're not worthy. They're not good enough. Why bother? 
okay? Um, I feel like many of you need to find that force within you do and you need to move forward you need to master your emotions show the world what you're made of don't be cold don't be cold while you're doing it see there's cold-hearted energy here if you're being cold towards others don't expect love to come in or to be um, right there for you you have to offer love too Okay, this is the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's not offering you love. But I, I feel like this could be your energy because it feels like th somebody is withholding. Somebody is withdrawing. Somebody is being very cold-hearted, like almost like angry, like withdrawn, like negative. Very. There's a lot of negative energy here, and I'm sorry to tell you that. The basis of your reading is to concentrate on the future. Realize that the future holds much more for you. Whatever's happened in the past is the past. There's no sense holding on to it and being cold. All right. It's time to broaden your horizons. It's time to keep moving. Don't quit. Okay. Divine, remember what I mentioned? Divine timing at the beginning of the reading. Slow and steady wins the race. Many of you are, are really ready to quit. It's like, you know what? I can't. I don't care anymore. I'm never going to get this. I'm never going to be loved. You know, I've been so hurt in the past. I've been rejected so many times. You know, I'm never good. This is never going to happen. And because you're thinking that way, your thoughts become things. All right. Your thoughts become things. And I'm here to tell you not to quit. Keep your head held up high. Show the world how confident you are. Show, show that person that you're, the rest of the world, the people that you're interested in, whoever it is, how beautiful are, you are. Show them. And I'm not just talking on the outside, on the inside. You know, beauty shines from the inside out. So if you go around, around picking on people or angry at yourself or just depressed and you're putting yourself down, that's not attractive. It's time for you to focus, okay? It is. It's time for you to focus. Focus on you. Respect yourself. Find your inner strength. You have a lot of it. Where is it? Do you know where it is? When's the last time? Where the hell is your inner strength anyway? Come on now. Where is it? Just because things haven't worked out probably in a while. For many of you, it's been a long time, and you're really like, what the hell? This is none of ever going to happen. Why me? It's in your hands. Your future is in your hands. If you replace negative with positive, love will come, I promise you. See, it's right here, but it's reversed. It's right here. But there's too much negative thoughts underneath this. This is the unknown that's in your hands. This tells me there's nothing I can tell you. There's nothing nobody else can do. It's in your hands. These negative thoughts with this Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords, I'm telling you what. If there was negative thoughts in a reading, these are, the, these are the two cards. Okay? And you are not receiving love, 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 love because of your negative thoughts because that is not attractive. And if you're looking for sugar coating, when you come to me for uh, for readings, uh, you're watching the wrong girl because I'm not going to sugar coat anything. We're going to flip these right around because they're oracle cards. Calling in your soulmate. That's what. Remember, I mentioned divine timing. I've mentioned it a couple times. Don't give up. Realize that it's coming in the future. It's around the corner. It is. But if you give up and you start being negative, then you just you start the process over almost. Don't give up. Show everybody how vibrant and beautiful you are. And this is for a man or a woman. Hold your head up high. You have nothing to be ashamed of. And don't make people ashamed of you by being negative towards another person. Because there's negativity here and I have to, even if it's your ex and your ex cheated on you and he hurted you or he or she hurted you and they're son of a bitch, don't go spreading that. 
because that brings your vibration down. Move past it. And then your vibration comes up and your soulmate comes in. I guarantee it. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I told you this from the very, very beginning. So I'm not really going to go into it with this card. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Now this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Many of you are stuck in a predicament. Perhaps you want children. Or you don't want children. Or you have children and it's affecting your love life because you can't find the right one that mixes with your children. Or, you know, it can be so many cases with this card. Whatever the case may be, it is being affected by children. Maybe you feel like you're not worthy because you, you have children. Who knows what the case is. That's not the case. Okay? You need to let go of the negative thoughts. You need to let go of feeling like love is never going to come. The, the thoughts become things, okay? If you think love is never going to come, then it's never going to come. Got it? If you think it's never going to get better, it's never going to get better. It's all in your hands. It's all in your hands. How you handle the situation. If you replace negative with positive, everything will turn around. This wheel will turn around and you'll start a beautiful new chapter. So this week is about realizing that there is a positive future for you. You've come a long way. Don't give up. Replace negative with positive and continue to call in your soulmate. Divine timing is at work. Keep going. Keep glowing. Keep shining. Master your emotions. Have confidence. Be proud. And any negative thoughts, words, whatever actions that come into mind, come into play, release them and don't act on them. Because if you do that, your vibration goes shoop, right back down. Oh, that's what I was talking about just now. The card is kindness. And I just explained to you what it was. <laughs> Any negative thought, action, words. I mean, come on. That's it. Kindness. Take respite by a pond and be kind to yourself and others. I just got done telling you that in other words. If you do this, your love life will improve beyond measure. Be kind to yourself and others at all times. And I promise you, your vibration... It sums up the whole reading. If you're kind to yourself and others, your love life will improve drastically within the next three months. So Sagittarius, I wish you a happy birthday. And I thank you so much for watching me. Um, I will talk to you next week. And this is Jennifer from Soul Source, Tor Soul Source Tarot. And nobody should have this video on their channel but me. Um, and I have to say that because people have been taking my videos, even with my name tag, and they're just like, it's unbelievable. So I've been reporting it to DCMA, and I will continue to do so. And if you find somebody, please send me, a, please send me an email so that I can work my magic. Talk to you later.